and welcome back. No intro yet. Maybe. Probably not. So this is my intro. What's up? Welcome to Sexy T TV. We are officially here for how to get your MMC credentials part two. If you have not seen part one, you need to see part one. Part one tells you a lot, maybe way too much that you wanted to know. But I had to start somewhere. I'm not, um, just piggybacking on part one. I'm, I am new to YouTube. I've had this YouTube page for a while, but never really used it. Um, and so I really found something, a passion for it that I think would be useful because this path of talking and telling about this one application was so useful to me that I had to share the knowledge. It was things I had watched several, 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 several videos, hours and hours and hours. I can do this for hours. So yeah, hours of videos I watched and learned like, this helps. This is helpful. This is helpful. I just took little nip pips of everything and put it together to turn my application in. And the bonus about watching this currently here with me right now, we're in the mud, mud together, y'all. I just sent my application out last week and actually go into my rec um, on the 6th, the 6th of April. Um, today is April 1st, so in five more days, I go into my rec. Everybody doesn't have to do that. If you send it off, it might be fine, but I didn't know if it was, it has to be a, under a certain amount of MBs. And again, I told you, I'm just new to YouTube. I don't even know how to do no intro or outro. I don't know how to do the, the death and the special features and the bleep the cuss words out. So I'm just not gonna cuss. And no copyright, don't do that. I ain't trying to do that. I ain't had no music because I don't know how to do no extra little stuff. I don't know how to put no little ding and no little dong and a little dong and a little dong. So to keep that simple, if my application didn't get there because I actually called too, and you're gonna wanna call. Keep that in mind. Remember that in the back of your head. I don't know if my application got there. It takes 10 days for them to be able to tell you anything about this if you emailed it. Sorry, wrong way. And it takes five days for your medical certificate. Remember I said that because we haven't even gone into that. So anyway, to backtrack, I hope you watch part one. If you didn't watch part one, I will try. I see people do. It'll be right here in the right there. I don't know if I'm gonna figure out how to do that, but if it ain't right there for you to click, 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 it'll be in the description to click, 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 and you wanna see that first, so stop. Stop what you're doing, cause I'm about to ruin the next thing that you're used to. Oh, I'm telling my age, y'all know how old I was, but now y'all know if I'm saying that right there, y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. Watch that first, it's an hour. Cause I can be in my house, oh, yeah, I can be here for hours. But you want to see that because it's going to give you a little back history on me. And I don't want to have to talk about all that again in this one. I really, really, really want to tell y'all about the knowledge about this. But I talk too much. I'm perfect for YouTube. I talk way too much. Oh, I need my lashes done. I need some makeup. I need all of that. That just goes to show y'all I'm real. I don't need, I really don't need none of that. And I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. But when I'm in the camera scene, I think I should have a little, sh I'm a little glamorous. I ain't got no little, I sure little, 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 this is all y'all want to know. This is all y'all need to know about this CG719B. So, I'm going to stop being so animated because I'm just am. I just is. And y'all just going to have to just deal with it. But I'm going to give y'all some real knowledge that y'all need to know. And guess what? Y'all going to go through this with me. Any questions, any comments, anything y'all want to say, tell me. Mm-hmm. I'm forward. Troll babies, where y'all at? I love y'all too. Let's go. So, any questions? Comments. Subscribe, please. I'm the bomb.com. I'm telling you, subscribe. Go to my about. Find out my YouTube. Which y'all should already know. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that, all that, all that, I'm on there. It may not be as personable as this. So this is where you want to leave your comments and subscribe. Because I'm, I'm starting to do this. I, I'm, a, I'm an Instagrammer, y'all. 
But it's just like pictures and videos and me and my family and me and my friends and glamorous life. This is like right here, right now. Like y'all hearing the reels, what it is, what it be like. Anyway, so that's what y'all want to do. Hit subscribe, follow, like, share. Anybody I follow, like, share, subscribe, y'all. Because I think y'all can see that too. Y'all can see who I like, what I like. Playlist and all that community. Do all that too. Because mm -hmm, I'm with the stuffs. And everybody I follow on likes is, is with the stuffs. So you want to watch that too. But if you want to know about this MMC, that's what, we, what we're going at now. So, <clears throat> you had to have watched part one. If you didn't watch part one, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I can't help you. You got to watch that to understand everything where we're going now. Because we're now on another step. So, <clears throat> where we left off from part one, if you ain't part one, stop now and watch that if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead. So, where we left off, <clears throat> we're talking about the where you go to print this off in order to be an MMC. Um, to get your, in order to get your MMC, your um, Merchant Mar Mariner's credentials, form CG719B, you have to go to this website dco.uscg.mil. I will post it in the bottom. If not, just put MMC application and it will pop up. Step one, you want to put out the checklist. Y'all should already have y'all checklist with y'all. We're talking about it, part one. Second one, you want to have your TWIC card. We went all over that in part one. Catch up. Okay. Now, we're on. You want to fill, print out this form. MMC application. Very crucial. Very, very, very crucial. You're not going to be able to get no, no, no MMC without this. Now, the thing I felt very interesting about this application is when I first looked at it, I was like, okay. Because I'm one of them. I'm like, paperwork is nothing. I'm going to fill this out, send this off. I already know somebody who is a long shoreman. He's going to give me the what it is. He's going to put me down. I'm in there like swim well. Who is you? I'm, who is you? I, what? Application? It's done. I got it. It's already here. <laughs> That's it? Put work? Child, nah. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, I had to go. I had to go get you on y'all. Okay. Straight like that, like, okay, mm-mm, wasn't that, wasn't that. It's easy, but it's not that easy. The process is easy. Application could be confusing. Okay, so that's where we are. So the first page, I was like, mm, this looks like instructions. Long list of instructions. Page one, it's five pages. Make sure you get all five, front, back, all that, five pages. My suggestion is print out two. Mm -hmm. Just go and print out two. Go ahead and do it. This is my third one to print out. I printed out a third one so I can have a blank one to show y'all. Okay? So go and print out. Go and print out two. All right. So page one goes over everything you need to know. Right? Guess what page two is, y'all? Miss Smith, what page 15 on? <laughs> I'm sorry. If anybody know about the wood, the wood, I went to a movie. When the lady was like, everybody turn. The lady was like, everybody turn to page 15. And the boy was like, Miss Smith, what page 15 on? Oh, mm. Anyway, so page one. Guess what page two is, y'all? More <laughs> instructions. Oh. More instructions. That's when I said, mmm. Mmm. So... Outside in, y'all probably like, okay, well, the first two pages just instructions. So it's five pages. That shit must be easy as fuck. fuck. Yo, excuse me. I mm, gotta watch. I don't know how to do all that bleep, bleep, bleep. So y'all probably like page three, four, and five. Four. Yeah, I said four. Three, four, and five must be easy. Can still be complicated. And it's crazy, y'all, because it's, it's easy. It's, it is just fun on paperwork, but it could be complicated. So that's where we're going. So I'm not about to read all this to y'all. Y'all gonna have to um, read and comprehend. So basically, the instructions is telling you the section one is just your application um, information. So on page one, you're writing your name, your um, your aliases, your social. Uh, to be is reference number if applicable. 
you're not gonna have a reference number. And this is a key thing I noticed in the rest of the videos. Anything that you're not applicable on, please write in a. I repeat, if you're not applicable for that, write in a. If it's something you cannot, you don't have a response for, please write in a. Don't leave anything blank um, if you can. Um, it is something that you will need blank, but we'll get, we'll get there to, because it's, you, you, it's like a, you're supposed to put a check if you, we'll, we'll get there. I don't want to rush. Anyway, we're still on, we're on section one. Anything you don't have. Example, <clears throat> me, I'm with y'all. We, we right here in the midst. I told y'all, I ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't even got my MMC to show y'all yet. But hey, who watched part one? If you watch part one, say hey. I heard you. So part one, I was not prepared because I just said I wanted to. I literally love y'all. Like, I literally said, yo, those people helped me. I got to do this. I said, it's a calling. Y'all going to be on the ships with me. And guess what, y'all? Remember cruise ship? If y'all from part one, remember cruise ship. Remember cruise ship industry. Remember that. Remember this. Because I got a job, y'all. On a boat. Without an MMC. We'll get there. We'll get there. Anyway, so from part one, and here I am again talking y'all off. People who ain't seen part one probably like, I want to see the application. I don't want to watch part one. Part two must have all the information. Nope. Gonna talk a little more. So part one, I told y'all I had my twig already. And here's my twig I have it for y'all. People do like this. I don't know what that means. Here's my twig. Maybe I need to cover this up. I don't know if that's... Remember I told y'all I knew when it expired. It expired in 2004. This is my twig. Mm. I kind of look the same. I lost a little bit of weight, but I'm still there. Hair almost the same, but yeah. That's my twig. And then remember I told y'all <clears throat> how I obtained mine. I didn't even have to pay for it, but you may have to, and that's fine. 150 I think it's about. You're also going to get this card here. I can't show y'all my, my password because it's supposed to be like a password. But also you're going to get this card. Keep up with this card because there's certain fingers that press on certain stuff. Remember I was telling you guys, I believe, because um, somebody paid for my twig, a job, a security job I had. Um, so that's why I never, um, any job, don't ever take it for granted. It was part-time getting a little money on, you know, with it. And, uh, they paid for me to get my twig. They paid for it. But if he didn't still get it, cause we talked about this TSA pre-check, we're not going to go there. Then I told y'all passport. Got to have passport. Passport. I'm international, baby. I'm international, baby. Also want to have one of these cases. I learned this once I got my, I had my passport for about, I got it in, I won it in 2013, didn't get it in 2018, finally went international in 20, 2020, 2021. I, I had it, didn't go nowhere with it. I even got to expedite it for no reason. But I learned as I got, I was like, everybody be having any case, what do cases mean? It's sometimes, I don't know about technology, that's why I don't have an intro, that's why I don't have all these special stuff. I can't do any of that stuff. But this protects against like cyber crime, it has something in it to protect against cyber crime. And then like when I went to Aruba, I put like my cards here, like my ID and all that, and I just was like, BAM! BAM! My daughter's probably gonna do some edits for me. So, BAM! I have a, like a BAM sound. Hopefully it will. If it don't, y'all get the effects. So those are mine. Those are what you're going to start with. I see people, they, that, so I got two of them. I got two of what you need. I got two of what you need. And soon, it'll be a third. Keep watching. All right. So I want to show y'all those. Put that up. And next. Backtrack. Okay. So anything that here that you can write NA on, you need to do it. So my prime example of course, I have, a, I have a last name, I have a first name, I have a middle name. I don't have a suffix. I'm not a junior or a third. If you're a woman, shout out to my women, and I'm doing this for y'all. It's only three or four women I saw really putting out videos. I'm doing this for y'all. We taking over. No disrespect to my men, but women, we can do this too. We can go ahead and get this little money real quick. Who? Like, I don't need nobody's for nothings. Mm, but I got somebody for somethings, but don't need them. Anyways, shout out to my ladies. I love y'all too, gentlemen. Thank y'all for watching. I help y'all too. But I'm really doing this for my women, okay? Um, let let be let let be known. <laughs> so we don't we don't we don't have no we don't have no suffix. So put N A there. You don't want to get rejected or turned away 
for as simple as an NA that you, it's common sense if I put, check that on my female, I don't have, well shit, I, I don't know if it's women naming women after women. Maybe, you may have that. You may be a junior. Let me not discri- Lord. See, I've been out in the mix too long. I ain't trying to discriminate on no man, no woman, no transgender, on nobody. It may be somebody that a woman, it may not, it may be a woman who named her daughter after her and she may be a junior. Maybe. So if it applies, apply it. If it don't, NA it. We're going to leave it there. All right. So then it's aliases. So me, I do have a maiden name. I've been married. So I NA this. I don't have a suffix, but I put my maiden name there. So now it's where it gets, it gets good. It gets good. It's coming up. Social security number. Everyone has that. Um... Then reference number, if you're applying for this for your first time, because this is the same application that everyone uses for even um, going up in ratings. So if you're applying for this, I'm sorry, I should be in the camera. If you're applying for this for your first time, um, you won't have a reference number. So that's the NA, right? So then um, your, uh, oh, and if you don't have a social security, you may have an um, ARN. If the ARN applies. You will put it there. You may put an NA on the social and you may put an a, a ARN here. If you don't have an ARN, then you NA that, okay? So that's the alien registration number. Date of birth, everyone was born. You got a date of birth. Put that, please. Citizenship. Here, this is where the, this, it's not confusing, but it could be confusing. I was going to put yes. <laughs> yes, you want to put USA. You want to put U.S. You want to put U.S. Citizenship. That's what you want to put where it is. You want to put U.S. there. I was going to put yes. They'd be like, mm, but no, they don't work. Okay. So, keep paying attention. Place of birth. City. I put my city. 757 Norfolk. Stand up. We in here. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Hey, if you're from the 757, put that two up, two down in the comments. Two up, two down. Hey. I'm from there. I moved there. Moved from there. Sidebar. Sidebar. We still need this application. I moved from there when I was like, uh, like 18, 19. But that's where I was born originally. I'm born from North Virginia. That's why this life should have... This is always... It's been in my blood. It's been calling. It's crazy. I'm just doing this now so many years later. But this is always my call. I always want to be on. I always love water. I always go to the beach. I always love the coast. And that's why this is perfect for me. And it's just now coming to fruition. And that's why I have to share this knowledge with y'all. Because I want y'all to do it too. You may be young and want to do this. You may be old and want to do this. There's no age limit on this. You won't even have to have a high school diploma. No college degree. 18 and older, baby. You in now. All right, back to the application. So, city of birth, Norfolk. State, I put VA. Now, county. If you're from the 757, you're from Norfolk. There's no counties there. I literally, um, I've had a federal job before and had to go over this with them. They even looked it up. They was like, it's got to be a county. It has to be a county, T. There has to be a county. There's no county. Where I live at now, I live in a county. I live in a county now. I have a county. It's all counties around here. It's all type of counties around here. You got the Midlands. You got Aiken County. You got Richland County. You got Kershaw County. You know what I'm saying? Dorchester County, Chesterfield County, Charleston County, uh, Lancaster County. There's counties all around here, but where I'm from is no county. And I literally went through this for another federal job. You feel me? So I would put NA there, right? Color of eyes, color of hair. We're on 5E, color of hair. Put all that. Home address. Now, no P.O. box. Don't put no P.O. box here. So, and you'll notice what was very confusing to me. It's a lot of check marks. It's a lot of little boxes. All these little boxes where you could check. And this also, remember I'm telling y'all this because this can be confusing when we get to your medical certificate, which we'll get on later too. So, um, you just want to fill out your address, your primary phone number. So, basically it's telling you, please indicate the best method of contact by checking the appropriate box. What I did is I checked everything. Contact me any way you want to. You can email me. You can mail me. You can call. I put two emails. Like, I got two phones. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Like, I got two phones. I got ten emails. You heard me. I put, I feel... 
I wish I could show you. I'm at application. I'm like, oh my God. Yes. So I put a primary number. I got two phones. So I got two phone numbers. I put the phone numbers down. I put the emails. I didn't check my alternate number or my other email for contact, but I wrote it down. It's there, right? Next of kin. Put next of kin. Now, this is key. We're now on 7A. So this could have been left blank. So my next of kin, of course, is my husband. I've my husband. I've been married for a lot of years. Okay, I love my husband. He's my next of kin. So I put his name. Now, it's, it says in 7A, you know, put the city, state, address, it, it, um, same as above. Check here. So I checked that box. But guess what? I ain't even nothing blank. These It's a lot of these squares that can be so confusing. So I said, you know what? F it. I still wrote the address in just in case. Because it says, please indicate best method of contact by checking the appropriate box is optional. Optional is so good. It's the rest of the application will talk about some more optional information. For this, no options. <laughs> if anything wrong, I want them to contact him. You feel me? And then I don't want, if something's left out, then they say my application not complete because I don't have no emergency contact. So I get pulled. I, I'm getting, it's taking a longer situational time for emergency contact? No, why not? Fill that out. Put your emergency contract. Even if they're your husband, wife, sister, nephew, significant other, partner. If you're putting them and you're still putting the same address above, check that. Write that address in. Don't leave nothing blank. Don't leave nothing blank. Don't leave nothing blank, okay? So I left relationship optional. I still put that. Put that. If it's your cousin, mother, partner, husband, just don't leave nothing blank. That may not be a check mark. You may not have to put a check mark on 7B, but you want to fill that out. Primary phone number, put that. You don't have to put a check mark on it, but put it. Email. If you like, you can put your email, contact me. You want to holler at him, holler at her, holler at him through me. Whatever. Just don't leave nothing blank. Or on the email, put in a. All right. So now, section two, requested Coast Guard credentials. Credentials or endorsement type requested. Confusing. This is the shortest application that was so confusing in my life. This ain't nothing but like a two, three page application, but it was confusing. This part of the application, section two, I went over and over and hours. I can do this for hours. Oh, we had 23 minutes. We only on section two, y'all. I'm going to try to make this fast, but if y'all have more questions about section two, because I was confused, please, 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 comments. Do not um, hit me up on Instagram about this, because I probably will not be knowing what the hell you're talking about on Instagram if I don't follow you. I think my page is private. Hit me up on here. This is important. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm specifically telling y'all. If y'all want to talk about section two, you got to hit me here. Put it in the comments. Hit me here because this part, um, so like I told y'all, if y'all saw part one, if you didn't, I've been in, embarking on this process for about two weeks. I decided I, I'm, I'm a spur of the moment type of girl. Y'all gonna learn that about me. And, um, I had these things. I had my token. I had my passport. I didn't know that's what I needed. I always knew about Merchant Marin. I'm from North Virginia. I have family that's in this business that works at several companies that you probably already know. Um, but I just embarked on and decided and boom, boom, wah, wah. So um, this particular section, I did a few times. I went, I got so much information from different places to, to fill this out. So anyway, so section two, if you're just starting which is probably why you're watching, because if you are already doing this, you don't need to hear nothing. I'm saying, you don't even got your women in. What is you going to tell me? How you going to tell me anything? But I can tell you something. Don't play with her, because she know. But anyway, I want y'all to be here with me on the growth, and I want y'all to, to make no mistakes that I possibly made, that I literally learned right, right here with y'all. Okay, so most likely, you're new. So, of course, you're going to apply for entry level. You're going to check that entry level. So, on section one, section two, requested Coast Guard credentials, you're going to check original. It's a section for original renewal, duplicate, raising grade. We don't, you don't even need to worry about that. You're original. So, you want to check infantry level. But, I'm going to give you a little heads up. Give you a little, little, little loudish. I'm watching the... Hours and hours of videos I watched 
you also, your entry level, but you also want to check the STCW. So you're going to put a check here. You're going to check here. You're going to have two checks. You're going to have two checks under original. You're going to have a check here on the entry level. Oh, y'all like my nail? Shout out to Jay. Um, you're going to have a, I know two J's. I know a lot of J's. Um, but Jay do my nails. I love you, girl. Um, entry level and STCW. The reason why you're going to check STW, you're probably like, what? You don't even know what that is. Another video for another day. I have to get through this video. We're only 25 minutes in. Another video for another day. But check those two. I'm going to tell you why. Real quick. So, <clears throat> when you get your credentials, you, you kind of want to fill out what you want. Because when they send you, it's going to be a little... It's going to be a booklet like this. It's going to be red, though. It's not going to say passport. It's going to be red. And it's going to say your, your M MC's thing. What they do... What you're doing with this application is basically telling them what you need so they can put the needed things in here for you to get checked off, filled out, they add on. I ain't there yet. For more information about more for more information about the MMC actual thing, I don't have that yet. I'm being honest with y'all. We're on the same levels. We are we're, we're we're together. So for more information about that, you want to contact the Coast Guard. Go to other videos. Shout out to other people making videos, which I'm gonna start giving y'all shout outs when I get more known. I don't want to put nobody's name in, in nothing yet. But it's a lot of people that I look up to and thank y'all um, for actual what's in that book. You can watch some people, they actually do their book and then they do like this and they show you, you know, all that good stuff. So, yeah, um, you have to look to them for that. But by looking at the videos, I learned that you check those because they're going to put in the book, they're going to put that page or whatever you need. And you're eventually going to obtain that. Whether you go through CSI and go through the schooling route, whether you go to MSC and get a job through them and they train you because most of these jobs will train you and pay for it. And whether you're going the officer route and you went through all this schooling, check that box. Listen to your girl. Check it. You want it there. And this is where it got even more confusing. So now we're on description of endorsements. Desired. So with those two checks, you got to write what you kind of want to do. And if you don't even know what this job entails, how can you write anything here? You wouldn't know what to write here, but you cannot leave this blank at all. You can't write N.A. right here. Don't write N.A. right here. Waste of time. you got to write some stuff right here. I'm going to tell you what to write. Um, and again, I don't have my MMC, but I'm obtaining it. And I have so much knowledge from just watching it. I've already mailed mine. It's already off. And I'm going to see my rec. I'm just double timer. You don't have to do both. You can email it, you can fax it, or you can send it to your rec, or you can mail it. I'm always two of two. I might be three of three. I might just mail my application too. No, I think going into my rec is going to do it. I, I'm good. Anyway, so basically in the description, what this is used for is even officers, officers who might be renewing or duplicating um, or doing other stuff, they still have to write like their different ratings, their C time, all that good stuff. That's what that's for. But for us originals, and we're entry level, entry level positions can be wipers. And y'all know that's in the engine department where you're wiping down everything. More in detail is other videos you can watch. Again, I have not done it with my own hands. I'm only telling you what if I've learned and I do my due diligence. You hear me? I do mines. So, I just know you want to put your steward and then you want to put your steward at food handler. And that's when you're working in the, in the galley and things like that with the chef. You also want to put your OS. That's your ordinary semen. You want, you definitely want to put that. Um, that's basically your regular deck hand. You want to put that as well. Um, so you can either, you can write it. Um, if you want more help with that, because I needed more help with that. I went over this three times, three times. Even when you print out your um, your checklist, the website has different places you can go to look it up. It To me, seemed like it talked more about the officer stuff. Because the officer stuff can be more hard because they have to write this C time and all this other time and all this other stuff they've done. And see if they qualify to write this. It's so complicated. But I didn't really get into what we needed to write as entry level and, and stuff like that. So, you know, you want your OS. You want to put your wiper. Or you put your steward. Then you want to put your steward food handler. Another little thing I learned. I had to go back. You also want to write in this description that you want your two-year medical certificate. 
very important because with this uh, MMC, you're going to have to do a physical period point blank. If you want this, you're going to have to do a physical. You're going to have to do a drug test. You're going to have to get your twig and you're going to have to get your passport. But that's not a lot. I'm telling y'all it's not a lot, but you got to do it. So with all that being said, you want to put your two year medical certificate because once you start getting on some of these different ships and different things like that, that's what the captain's going to ask for. And you already want to have that. And you already want to have that in your MMC book or whatever. I don't have my, remember y'all, I don't have my, but you can see, I speak with knowledge, honey, because she does her homework. Hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and then my cousin's a, a longshoreman, so I got somebody who who down with me. All right, so I can I could literally show y'all. I think my application's upstairs where I had my first one when I just had the I had my OS. And then it's so many, it could be confusing. This is another thing to tell y'all about. So I was like, okay, supply utility. Like, that's basically an OS. It was so confusing. It was like so many. So what can be confusing if you're watching a lot of these videos? A lot of people are talking about their different companies. They're talking about where they've already been, where they're going. Then they're talking about places where there's school. And different jobs have different names for different stuff. Remember we talked about cruise ship? I'm going to be on the cruise ship, y'all. I'm getting my feet wet before I even got my MSN. You can make money before you get your MSN. That video coming soon. That video coming soon. You heard me. Okay. So anyway, um, that can be really confusing. So all these different titles, I was like, uh, it was another one. Like G-U-W-U. Like it was just so many, which they all mean to say that man, man a wiper. Um, and then there's levels to it. It's a second levels. And then you got your you got your OS, you got your A B, you got it just could be very, very, very confusing if you don't know anything about this life. And I know a little bit. Again, I told y'all, part one, go catch it if you ain't had it. I've been on a ship. I knew it. Like when I heard gangway, boom, I knew that. I know a ship. Bow I know I know a lot of terminology because I worked on a port before. Um, so I know they go by military time. I, I know I know how to talk on the walk. I know a, a little bit of a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I'll do a little bit of more. But guess what? We're about to learn a lot more, and I'm gonna keep y'all informed. So anyway. I will sidetrack the hell out your butt. So, if you want more about this, put it in the comments. But you want to put, it's, you want to check the, in the original, you want to put the entry level in the SC, STCW. And if you already have that, check it anyway. Because you're going to, so when they send you to SIU, from what I hear, um, even they're going to do their schooling and they require you to check that. So let's say you want to go that route, not my route, but teach his own because you're going to, when you, let's say you sign up to go to one of these schools, they're going to tell you to get your twig. They're going to tell you to get your passport and they're going to tell you to go ahead and apply for this. Right. And they're going to, you, it's mandatory that you check that. I'm not going to school route. But guess what? If they're telling me that it's mandatory to check that that means something, even if I'm going to cruise ships, even if I'm going on a ship, that means something. If someone tell me I already need my two-year medical certificate, that needs to be written up here, that means something. So follow me. So that's what needs to be written. So you want those two checks. You want, oh, these are the, the, the main four to five things you want right here. It's more stuff you can write because there's different, they like utility, uh, supply utility, man. But a lot of stuff means the sh same thing. Engine, deck department, deck can, all that stuff pretty much mean the same. But just make sure you have OS, ordinary seaman. If you, if you want more, we'll go more. You want the steward. You want steward food handler. Food handler, very important. Uh, entry level position and wiper. And you want the two-year medical certificate, okay? Now, at the bottom, it says for renewal transactions only. Don't mess with that. That's at the very bottom on page three. We're still on page three. Child, we're still on page three. We're getting to page four. We're on page four. First part of page four is telling you section three, safety and suitability. Twit card. Um, this basically is talking about transportation work and division card exemption statement. Nine times out of ten, you're not exempt. If you're exempt, you will already know that you're exempt. So do not, I repeat, on the back, on page four, section three, question one, do not check this. If you're exempt, 
you know you're exempt. You you already know something. You're you're you already know that you you already tried to apply through TSA. Something happened. Something happened where you you applied and didn't go, and then you got some type of letter to make it go right. You should know about this. But if you don't know anything about nothing, and you ain't never done nothing, and don't know nothing about nothing, do not mark nothing here. Page four of your application, section three, safety and suitability one. Do not mark nothing. My first thing was like, oh, twerk, I got that. Check. Nope. Don't check. Do not. Basically, it's telling you I have previously applied for Twick, and TSA and I have exempted me from holding a valid Twick under Coast Guard policy letter 1115. You, If you ain't never applied, how could you be exempt, right? Now, listen to this. They telling you don't check this shit. Even if you think you exempt, don't check. I'm sorry. They telling you don't check this thing. Even if you think you should check it, don't check this section. It's telling you because it says, I understand that a name base safely and suitably checked could significantly, keyword significantly, delay the process of my MMC application. Don't check it. Boom. Not going over that again. Dead in the water. Two, criminal record. You want to put everything and anything that you've done. Why? Because it's going to come up. Be honest. Honesty is the best policy with anything, with all of this. If you can't be honest, then I can't help you. You want to write it because <laughs> here I am again. I can't say for my own hand, but I've seen several. Oh, this sounds so bad. I've seen several videos, videos where they've told me what people have gotten pulled off the ship. They got they uh, they got their MMC job. Got the job and got pulled right off the ship because that background came back. It could have been something for 30 years ago. It's going to come back. Karma. You read what you sell, whatever, it's going to come back. And not saying that in a negative way, like if you did something, it's going to No, I'm just saying, you think it's gone, was done in the dark, it's always brought to the light. Just write it up there. If you already know you got some stuff that just going, you common sense on some stuff. You know, if you done got a couple of charges that's just not right, we ain't gonna discuss them. And you can't even get a job here, you dang on show ain't gonna get no job with the Coast Guard. So let's just keep it real. Let's keep it gangster. And I gotta keep going because we have 37 minutes. So criminal record convictions and drug use. These are the main questions. If you can answer no to these, you're good. If you gotta answer yes, it's some explanation in doing and we're gonna get to that next form because it's another form. All right, so if you ask yes to these questions, you must disclose the information regardless of the situation. You may complete the optional form CG719C. Remember that, CG719C, Coast Guard 719C, each marked yes, okay? So basically, it's asking you, have you ever used or been addicted to dangerous drugs, marijuana within the last 10 years? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever, I don't know why I say you, you know what I'm saying, just do that's the Norfolk, the Miami, Emmy. Have you ever been convicted of a violent, dangerous um, drug law in the United States, Georgia, Columbia, or any state? They're going to find out. Just put yes, if so. If it, it may not it may not be it, dangerous. I don't know. If you got, Basically, if you got any convicted, violated drug, even if it's the ganja, just put it. Because that's what it see. You know what I'm trying to get you? We don't want to get got. Just put it. They want you to check. Say so they put dangerous. Don't matter. If you got any conviction, put yes. Put it. It could have been a little, little crumb of trees from 89. Put yes. Put it off. Is the sponge is done? That's 89. We had 2022, 20, baby. That's done with. But put it. But don't let that dangerous fool you. They want to know anything. All right, have you ever been convicted by any court, including military court? So if you've ever been court-martialed, you want to put that too. For any officer or other minor traffic violation. For offense other, uh, for, I'm sorry, for offense other than a minor traffic violation. So this is section three, question two, C. This one is very important. C is very important because it says, have you been convicted of any court, including any court? That means, have you ever been convicted? Have you, if you, you could have shoplifted, child, you could have got some wings out of Walmart, child. You could have got some earrings out of Dillard's, boo. Could have got some weave out of the, of the Chinese, though. 
if they found you guilty, you have to put yes. Don't let them fool you. And then tell them. That was petty larceny. Back in 94. I'm good. Yeah, I was I was 17. You know what I'm saying? I was 18. You know what I mean? All right. Have you ever been convicted of a traffic inf um, infraction um, arising in a connection with a fatal traffic accident? Reckless driving or racing on a highway or operating a motor vehicle while under influence or impaired of alcohol or chose substance. So basically, if you ever had a reckless driving or hurt anybody, like bad, bad, like death, you'll put that. If you ain't had no DUI, DWI, whatever, don't worry about that. You never murked anybody on my drive. Oh, God, excuse me. Then you good. Um, or ever had... Um, it says, you're just traffic and fresh and other than minor. So you would put no. All right. And this stuff doesn't mean you're disqualified. But if you have any questions, of course, contact the Coast Guard. Contact anybody on that website. I gave you, gave you that's in the link. Um, then have you ever had your license or voter suspended for refusing to submit to alcohol drug test? You got to put yes if so. And explain. Yes, but I, they, I just felt like I was in danger from my life. You know, explain. Explain. It's a form for that. All right, have you had a drug test with a result other than negative within the last 10 years? Now, this one, which is F on page 4, section 3, F, question 2. Um, Somebody could have, I mean, you could have had a positive drug test because your medication. Some people have had pain in their back and they take certain medication that has to be in their system. So, not talking about that. So, let's say that's the case. Let's say, like, three years ago, you were in a car accident, not at your fault or anything like that. And your doctor was drug testing you because they gave you, what is it, uh, Norco or sets, Percocets or something like that for your back. And they drug test you to, because I was in healthcare, so I know, we were supposed to drug test people to make sure that it was in their system. Because when they came up for their prescription, it needs to be in their system. It's not in their system. What do you need this for? So, of course, you're going to have a positive drug test. We're not talking about that. Don't put yes. You're supposed to. That's legit. We're talking about, like, you know, if you, let's say you was at a child support hearing and it came, because it's in court documents that you had it. So, put yes. Let's say you, your, your baby's mother or your baby's father took you to court and try some funny stuff and was like drug tester and you you, you might have just because they knew you had a party and had me have had some marijuana and something and it came back negative it's on court record so you want to put yes everything be truthful about so now we're still on page four we're now on section three right so i know y'all probably can't see this one three it's um national driver's registration you want to check that basically what this one is telling you is mandatory for original renewal or new officer's endorsement, you're authorizing a national driver registry to furnish the U.S. Coast Guard with information pertaining to your driving record. This content consists of authorization of single access to the information contained in the NDR to verify information provided in the application. Note, do not require not require for document of continual applicants. So basically, if this is your original, you want to check this. Because this is giving them consent to check your um, it's NDR, just basically your driving record. And they do check it. Um, and how I know it is because <laughs> it's crazy, y'all. I got like credits or mar monitoring. And they pull, they pull your credit. I've applied for a few federal jobs. They pull, they pull your credit. It says your credit just a small credit check. They, they pull it. They pull it. They pull and see it. All that credit drivers, they say they're going to do it. They're going to do it. So check it so they can do it and get it over with. Next, we're on section four, marriage consent and um, certification. So this is optional, number one. I'm sorry if you, I'm, I'm looking because I, 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 the child is new to me too, but I learned it. So I'm teaching y'all. So we're in section four on page four, 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 four. four. Hey, ain't that windy, Dad? Four, four, four. Yeah, I'm pescatarian too. Well, I just started. I'm like, I eat a lot of veggies and stuff. See, sidebar. We have 45 minutes. I need to get off of that. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, so Mariner's outreach system. Optional. I put no thanks. 
I'm short on time. If you want to know more about that, read about it. But I put no thanks because it's also I heard it's a question where they ask you if, you know, as a when you get your MMC and your uh, merchant mariner, you could be also asked to participate in if it's any emergency type things or war anything. It's optional. Anything optional? No, thanks. My option is no. No go. All right. Now we're on page four, section four certification i got five minutes these five minutes these last five minutes is crucial this this messed me up and that's what i'm telling y'all child so when i first did this i first did this boom boom bam went through it i signed in section five for both spots don't do that so i'm giving y'all a heads up if this video because i I'm, I'm not going over 50 minutes i'm not going about so anyway we're in page four section four consent uh, certification. Make sure you sign saying my signature below as test that this information is correct. I sign and do swear. You're going over the oath. The oath. Let's read the oath. Okay. All the information on the application is true and correct to the best of my knowledge. I understand that an application determined to be fraudulent will result in the denial of my application for one year from the date of submission. Even if the fraudulent information was not by itself caused by denial or prosecution. So make sure everything is right. Who was getting out of year? Now I, mm -mm, I need that year. Okay, now you're going to the oath. I do solemnly swear and affirm that I will <laughs> faithfully and honestly, according to the best skill and judgment, and I'm not a good reader, but I'm doing real good. Announcement to my best skills and judgment and without concealment of reservation, perform all the duties required of me. Let me share my own heart. <laughs> oh yeah i faithfully uh blah, 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 required by the law a little where was that okay uh performed all the duties required of me by the law of the united states i will faithfully and honestly carry out the lawful orders of my superior officers aboard a vessel okay so that's four so applicant signature and five you're going to sign not stop stop right there stop if you ain't heard nothing all this time in this whole video stop pause stop right there do not sign why because you have to have this notarized and if you ever had a form notarized you know you got to sign it in front of them so what I did, guys, first go around. I'm watching videos. I'm doing this while I'm watching all these videos. Hours and hours. I can do this. Now. Yeah. So I went through. I was like, yo, I'm signing this. I ain't going to date it. And I, I left that blank the first go around. I went over actually about 20, 10, 20 times. About the 10th time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and sign it. Because then it says, under that, it says signature of all of individual authorized to administer the oath. This is required by only once for Mariner. It means you only have to do it once. Even these people who are officers or renewing on the front side, they only got to do this once. So I was like, I'm just going to sign that. Like, I can give myself the oath. Child, nah. But then it says name of individual authorizing to the administrator of the oath. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm going to go back. Child, I forgot all about that. I went over the application 10 times. Remember, I'm not only doing this. I'm doing my medical certificate. I'm doing my drug test. I'm doing my physical form. And then it's a narcotics form. So we're going to have a part three, y'all. Part three. Anyway, do not sign five. So once you've done, you you got your, let's start, let's recap, let's recap. We ain't even took the last page, but we're recapping so you can understand. Page one, instruction. Page two is instructions. You still need to have this. This is another thing that I did not learn in the other videos. If it says page five of five, one of five, you still want to have all your pages. No matter if it's instructions, you still send that in because... Think about it. Common sense. If you was getting something, somebody sending you something, let's say is it could be some uh, some paper for you to go to your bank to get money. Get money. It could be and, and and you it say one of ten and you got you got page 
one through seven. Where's eight, nine, and ten? And the bank looking like, um, we can't give you the money from this whatever this is, paperwork or will or whatever, because you don't have the rest of the pages. Even if it's just instructions, ma'am, send it all in. That's another thing I did not hear. But the girl be knowing. That girl be knowing. All right, so I'm just recapping. Okay? And we're going to get back to why you're not signing and when you're going to sign. So you got page one, instruction. Page two, instruction. You just sit that to the side. Page three. This is all your general demographic information, what you're applying for. Very important. Page four is, I think, the most important. Mine are just on two uh, on the back of each other. But if you can copy them and you have each five pages, it's good. Because guess what I had to do? I had to copy mine so I could scan it in. So it's just the way my printer did. So anyway, um, page four. Page four, section four certification. Do not sign the signature part because you're going to, after you do all this, you're going to have to take this somewhere to be notarized. So just leave that blank. We're going to sign it. Remember, we said don't leave nothing blank. Signature is the most important because you're authorizing this. But you can't sign this without showing your ID and having somebody notarizing that you are you. If you don't know what a notary is, you can, if you don't know where a notary is, you can go to the library for free. You can go to FedEx. I think it's $5. You can go to the post office. I think it's $5. And if you may know a notary. You may want to become a notary. It's only a class. And you'll be a notary for four or five years. We'll talk about that in another video too. Um, so do not sign this. I signed this. So I said, look, this is what I did. I signed it, right? Okay, I signed it. Then my like my tip time go around. I signed their part too, right? Okay. Child, I thought I was done. It's we still got one more page. I ain't even get to y'all on that one yet. I scanned everything in and watched the video and was like, oh my God, I did say I was supposed to go back and figure out what that oath was about and figure out what that was and what did I needed to do. Okay. So, um, don't sign that. Not yet. All right. So then, um, I'm wrapping up this video. So then on page five of five, this is optional. This is section five. This is, um, talking about the Mariners consent and certification continued, um, and it says optional right there. Now, on an, on your medical certificate, it's a place here on some options that you have to click decline. We'll get in that into another video. But you want to make sure you put decline there if it has a decline. So always be looking over on this side. But on this one, it doesn't have that. So what did I do? I still signed it. If it's somewhere I need to sign, I signed it. But I put nay. I didn't check any of these. I put nay on all of these. Do the same thing. Don't leave nothing blank. That's how I feel. If it says optional, it is optional. I just feel funny about leaving something blank and there's no check that says decline. So that's what I did. And then always on all the bottom of your papers, make sure that all your name is in the format of your last name, first name, middle initial. And then you take this and you go get it notarized. You'll have your one, two instructions. You'll have page three with your general information. Four about your a whole drug um, stuff and your Twix stuff. You take this to get notarized, they'll sign it. You just present your ID and they'll sign it. And then it's a few more forms, but we're ending right here on our form CG71B. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Um, please follow, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please, 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 because this was very confusing. Um, especially that, that, that section four of four. More questions, more answers. We'll go. This is just one of the parts. We're still on CG719B. We have a K, we have a J, A, B, C, D, F, G. We'll do them all. But thank y'all for tuning in. Sexy TTV, over and out.